everyone, I thought I'd just do a quick vlog today as I have got some exciting news to tell you all. Um, I've waited a long time for this, so I won't be filming the journey there or inside the person's house due to privacy reasons. But I'm really excited to announce I'm getting a puppy today. I've wanted a Highland Westy Terrier for about 13 years. So I'm just at my dad's now and we're going to go and pick her up and I've got maybe filling some paperwork and yeah I'll show you all what I'll get up to later. And then I've got to drop my dad back because I've still got his car and then I might stay for half an hour insure her ensure the new puppy and I'm going to um, then go home and have a break in between because it's an hour's drive there and it would probably take roughly an hour back it just depends three an hour 40 minutes so yeah I'm really excited about that and I just want to share it all with you guys as well but I will be adding to this video a bit later so I'll see you all a bit later when I've been to pick her up and I've done all the paperwork and sorted out a chip and everything like that. So the next time I'll probably see you guys is probably when I get back and drop my dad back and I'll just film at my dad's house. Um, but I've got to be careful because she isn't toilet trained. So any mess, um, I'm a bit concerned about that. He's not going to be happy. So I'll speak to you all later. Hello everyone, I'm just on the floor now. I'm at my dad. Um, she cried a bit when we took her home. To, well, to my dad. She's not actually home home yet. But I'll just show you in a minute um, and tell you her name. I'm just going to go to the toilet, have something to eat and do her insurance at my dad's. As he's had like 30, 40 years of experience of different insurances. So I just want to make sure I'm getting the right policy. And I'm going to apply for that today. So I know it's all in order and all lined up with when I got her and everything. And it'll be the same every year. when I'll renew it and look for new insurance. So I'm just going to show you her. This is Tilly everyone. Hello. She's a bit nervous obviously because it's a big day when you take them away from the mum and she's missing a litter mate. So she's having a little cry and a whine but I've just gone and got her some new toys which I'll show you all later. And I'm going to let her out in a minute, maybe give her a little hold and stuff. She's Tilly's new collar. Say hello Tilly. She's just taking it all in because obviously she's never seen my dad's place but as she gets older she'll get used to seeing it here and there. She's just having a sniff. This is her colour I got. I could have got a pink one with unicorns on, but I thought it's getting very pink. And I wanted it to match her carry case over here. I'm going to take her home and give her a little green, because she's got some food caught in her fur. Yes, you have. Give you a little brush. Oh, I don't know where she's going. She likes to turn around. There's a little mark there, which is food, I think. The one I've got from the breeders. So I'm going to just zoom out so you guys can see. Sitting here with her. And I wanted to get a new colour so I can take her in the garden because though it's a communal garden, my end is quiet and I'm going to take her out for toilet training later. So I've had some great advice from the pet shop. Thank you, Bannerbrook Pets. Bought this colour myself. It isn't sponsored by them, by the way. And I've got her two new toys. She's now tired. Yes, we caught you, didn't we? Having a yawn. Uh, I haven't got any treats on me at the moment, but I'm not going to spend too long at my dad's. I just thought I'd get her out. Um, because she's seen mostly my dad at the moment and a bit of me at the readers. So I'll check in later. I've just got Tilly home and she's having her afternoon meal. The breed was give her breakfast and I'm just moving her on to raw feeding as it's the best for dogs. If any of you guys have any questions then leave them below about raw feeding in the comments. I've done a lot of research and this is the best food for dogs. And you can make it yourself but you're probably better buying it as you get the right bone content and the other ingredients mixed in. Like some of hers have vegetables in. Um, I'm not quite confident yet or experienced enough to do vegetables. I do mostly odd treats. But with raw you can also mix fish and other bits and pieces. Some people put strawberries on their licky mats which I've started using. I don't use this brown bowl anymore as much. That's just a spare because I think she's finding it quite a bit to get into. I'm just letting Tilly get used to her pen and her bed. This um, breed gave me a lovely blanket here that you can see in pink and white. I'm keen to let her have a rest because I've gone to get her at half eleven. The breed of feather and 
died with her before I've come, so it's quite a long day for her. Tilly's just woke up, she's just having to play with her new toys and getting used to them. This pink one with the rope I absolutely love, it's a little rascal's brand and I took it to the breeders with me. It's now coming up to 5, 6 o'clock on the evening and she's having another raw meal. I've pre rayed all these out ready for the week. Tilly's just finished her raw food and absolutely loves it. I'm really happy that she's transitioned over it to it quite well and not actually feeling sick or got diarrhea from it or anything like that because that can happen sometimes. Not all dogs can do it instantly. Tilly's just having a play still and sniffing the mats. Um, I've since got rid of these as they're not very hygienic when you've got a new puppy so I wouldn't recommend keeping mats down. I was so busy with Tilly the other day so I've just come to film my outro now for the video on getting my new puppy. I was so busy feeding her and playing with her so I've decided to do the outro today while she's just asleep and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see me doing some more puppy content. I'm thinking to do a week in my life with Tilly. Let me know if you want to see that and I will be planning a budget video on how much I spent on things like this toy and things like this. This is an Ankol one by the way, which I love their range. Um, it's quite a good size and I also love Kong, so they're my two go-tos at the moment. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of the video and comment below. So I haven't been on here in a few weeks and I've been a bit hit and miss with my videos. I got Tilly two weeks ago and I've been applying for jobs and bits and pieces and I went away to Wales the other week about three weeks ago. So I've been a bit off since then but I'm trying to build up my content again as well as get on with my life and doing the training with Tilly, applying for jobs. So I'm sorry I haven't been on but I am trying to get back on track and get some Christmas content filmed as well um, and look for people to work with as well. I'd love to do like a dog treat one and do like a raw feed video if anyone's interested in that. Um, also let me know about that as well in the comments if you want to know more about raw feeding your dogs um, because I have reached out to my supplier to see if I can work with them. But they're only a small family business so I don't know if they'll be interested but I'll see what they say. They were quite busy and struggling with staff when I last spoke to them. So that might be something in the future to get planning and seeing about that. So that's it for this week. And in my next video, I will maybe be doing the one about how much I spent on Tilly's toys, a bed, the playpen and all that kind of the accessory side of it. And I might even do one with the food. So I'll see you here next Thursday for my normal uploads. And I am going to be filming some more content for you guys. I feel quite bad that I've let you down and haven't been on here. But I need to get back on track and get back into the routine. Just excuse this, this is Tilly's brush. She also has an Instagram page which I'll link on here for you guys who are interested in following puppies and watching cute videos and looking at her posts. So please subscribe to my please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram and I'll also link Tilly's on here as well. As she's got nine followers at the moment and it's slowly building up. So I'll see you all next week.